skin, Big Bandage. Hello, Perfect Beauties. My name is Daisy, and for today's video, I am going to be telling you my horrible, horrible, horrid eyelash extension story. Now, I have made a video before, right here, um, on eyelash extensions. I think I made it about two years ago. And normally I have pretty good luck with getting eyelash extensions. If you guys don't know what eyelash extensions are, you go to a place to get them done and they glue individual eyelashes to your eyelashes, individual eyelashes to your eyelashes. It lasts about three weeks before you have to get them refilled. They're very expensive, but they make your eyes look amazing. And I've been getting them done for the past three years on and off. Like sometimes I will need my eyelash fix and sometimes I just get so annoyed with how dang expensive it is, so I stop. But the place I have gone to, and I'll tell you where I go, I used to go to Eagle Rock Beauty Utopia. They have the absolute best place to get eyelash extensions. Tell them Daisy referred you. They probably have no idea who Daisy is, but um, I'm not sponsored by them, but they are by far the absolute best place I've gotten eyelash extensions from. This is gonna be a horror story, not from this particular place, but from another place I went to recently, and it was just absolutely horrible. I thought I was gonna go blind, and I want you guys to like be aware and know of the dangers, I guess, of eyelash extensions. So I was going to um, an event and a conference, and I wanted to get eyelash extensions in, so I scheduled it for this place in Orange County. I don't think I'm gonna reveal where it was, but if you Google me on Yelp, you'll be able to figure out where. <laughs> this place, this eyelash extension place, is like a chain of eyelash extensions. So they're kind of like a dry bar, um, and I really like dry bar because it is a chain. You go in, you kind of know how much it is and what you're gonna get from it, and it's really easy to book appointments, and that's why I kind of like chains or places with apps, because I my schedule is super crazy, so like if I want something, I kind of want it now, I don't wanna wait, so I like, like booking things with apps. Anyways, I go to this place, and I just think my esthetician or the girl who did my eyelashes was like absolutely terrible and like terrible at her job. I think to be a good eyelash esthetician girl, you need to be super detail oriented and super nimble with your fingers. Um, and if you're not, if you're more like coarse with how you do your work, and you can kind of tell by the way people handle certain things, like even when they serve food, you can tell if people are very nimble and quick or if they're like really klutzy. I feel like she was a lot more on the klutzy side, which was a big no-no. So the first thing that happens was I go in and I tell her for a fact that I want volume lashes and I want the eyelashes to be longer on the outside of my eyes because I have Asian eyes, I have really, really fine eyelashes. So if you're gonna put heavier lashes in the middle, um, longer lashes in the middle, they're gonna fall right off my eyes. And I told her twice, I need a lot longer eyelashes on the outside of my eyes. She said, how about we try this style, which is longer eyelashes in the middle instead of the outside. And I say, well, they're gonna fall off. And she says, it'll look good on your eye shape. And I agree. I agree, eyelashes that are longer in the middle in my eye shape makes my eyes look very, very large and that's why eyelashes make a huge difference, but they don't last on my eyes because they fall off. So she first of all ignored my first request. And then the second thing was I mentioned to her, yes, I have fine Asian eyelashes. Like my eyelashes from when I was like seven, eight, nine, ten years old, people have always told me, where are your eyelashes? What happened to them? Do you not have eyelashes? Blah, blah, blah. So I guess from a young age, I have a sore spot that like I was constantly made fun of because I had small eyes and small eyelashes. So I told her like, yeah, I have fine thin eyelashes, so it's gonna be hard, but I've gotten my lashes done at other studios and they've been able to make it work. Right when I get into the chair and right when I like, you know, she puts the tape and everything around my eyes, she's like, oh, you have fine thin lashes. And then I said um, something about like, me going to different eyelash studios and being like, yeah, like some of the eyelashes from different studios, some last like a few days, some last three weeks, some last a month. I was like, yeah, it really depends on which place you go to because of the glue. First, she has to take out the old eyelashes from the previous treatment I done. And when she's doing it, I'm literally like, my eyes are literally like squinting because she's just like literally pulling them off my eye, okay? So she's doing that. Whatever, I get it, she has to pull them out. And then she's like, oh my gosh, 
you have really fine eyelashes. But then she's like, oh, I can see why the previous lashes didn't last long. It's not because of the glue, it's because your eyelashes can't hold the weight. Now, I get it. I get that that is a fact, that my eyelashes are thin. But the thing is, is that at different places I get them done and by different people, they will last longer accordingly to who does them and what kind of glue they use. So obviously my lash thickness hasn't changed. So I just felt like that was very rude and like not necessary for her to mention that because I already said that I had thin lashes. Anyways, so she, she puts the lashes in and then she like drops her tools near my eyes, which makes me like jerk out of my, um, the place I'm laying at. And I'm just like, oh, oh. And then, and then she like literally like almost drops like some of her tools near my eyes, which is really dangerous. And she has such a klutzy hand. And then the last thing was when I opened my eyes, I could not open them. So after she's done, She's like, okay, you can open your eyes and look. First of all, I couldn't even open my eyes because like the eyelashes were stuck to the bottom lids. But secondly, it was so painful to open my eyes because the glue they used or the glue wasn't dry that my eyes were so red. And so I had to close them back and wait like a few minutes and then try to open them. And I had to do that a few times before I could actually fully open them. And then I noticed after the fact that she, when she put each eyelash on the eyelashes, there are certain lashes that are like literally globs of glue on my eye. And I didn't notice this until after um, the fact, like after a few days I got my lashes done, but you could see like globs of glue hanging on the root of the eyelash because she didn't make like a thin like piece and hold it in there and let it dry before going on to the next one or something. Whatever, I've never had globs of like eyelashes like sticking together. but. I think one of the worst parts of the experience was how irritated and red my eye became after. So this eye became super red and irritated. Um, the day after, I felt like there was like a piece of paper on my eye or a piece of plastic. And then the entire bottom of the eye became super, super red. And when it wasn't on this eye, and I'm 100% sure it was from the um, eyelash extensions because nothing had changed. I didn't use any new eye drops. I didn't change my diet. I didn't go anywhere. So it was from that because I got it done the day before. It was really painful. I actually emailed my doctor saying, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna go blind? And then about three days later after like just like my doctor said, okay, just like put in a bunch of artificial tears, like rinse out your eyes, use artificial tears. The pain and the redness went away, but I literally like, I was at an event and I had like a bloodshot red eye and it was so unattractive for me to meet people and for them to see like a bloodshot red eye. Like who is this girl? Like if she had like pink eye or something, right? Like nobody wants to talk to you when your eye is bloodshot red. That's probably the first sign that I was allergic or irritated to the glue because obviously, then the next day my eye became bloodshot red and was super irritated. So overall, I'm really unhappy with that experience and I just want to give a cautionary warning to people who are considering getting eyelash extensions because the way I found this place was through Yelp and honestly, I feel like Yelp is not super accurate anymore because it had like 500 five-star reviews. And I've gotten my eyelashes done at probably 20 different places um, in the past two, three years, and I've never had this terrible of an experience. So I just want you guys to do your research, do your due diligence, and maybe like when you start doing your eyelashes, just start doing a few of them. Don't do the whole like full set, maybe just do a few of them to see how your eyes react before you go back and get the full set consistently because if you have the wrong person or the wrong glue, it can really, really mess up your eyes. And I also include pictures of what my eyelashes look like now because it's only been two weeks and they look absolutely terrible. Like. I feel like I can't go out in public unless I wear false eyelashes to cover them up. Like right now I'm wearing false eyelashes and I think I'm gonna stick to false eyelashes from now on because first of all, eyelash extensions are super expensive. Like when I got the full set done um, by that terrible edition, it was probably about $200 plus the tip was I think $50. And she asked me like, I don't know, the lady was like, how much do you want to tip? And I was like, I was like 20. She's like, percent? I'm like, 
no, $20, no. Because I was like, she did such a bad job. Like, I can't imagine anyone, I shouldn't have even tipped. But eyelash extensions are super expensive. They don't last very long. They look amazing the first few days you get them on, but then afterwards it starts falling off and you have to maintain and get a refill or else it just looks super ugly, like little spider web things coming out of your eyes. So I think I'm gonna just stick with doing like um, false eyelashes because they're cheap, you just glue them on when you need them, but you can't wear them when you do yoga or like exercise. That's the only issue. Let me know in the comments below if you have had any terrible, horrible eyelash extensions or any kind of weird treatment stories because I would love to know what to avoid next time. My lesson is don't be haste, do your research, ask for recommendations. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Talk to you guys later. Bye. There's a